Hello, good morning students. Today I would like to discuss about the neat topic, neat concept of kinematics that is motion in a straight line. Yeah. So in this uh, previous neat problems also we are including in some basic concepts. See, first concept is uh, the distance and displacement concept. As we know previously that the distance means uh, the length between initial and final point. Whereas displacement means the shortest length between initial and final point. So how can you determine the distance and displacement in case of a circular path? Let us say if the particle is moving in the circular manner. Okay. Let us say from this point, this is a point P. From this point to this point, if it is moving like this in the circular manner, curved manner, this is nothing but the arc and this angle you can call as the theta. Now this as usual radius is nothing but the length which is r it can be represented by. So as we know that from the sector we know the formula for the angle theta is equal to arc by length. Say when the particle is moving from here to here what is the question is what is the distance and what is the displacement. So distance means here this is the distance this curved path is nothing but the distance. So from this formula theta is equal to L by R, I can determine the distance L is equal to R theta. Here is the formula, you have to remember this <coughs> from this basic formula. Now L is equal to R theta. So how can you determine the displacement from this point? Say displacement is nothing but the, the shortest length between this P and Q. This you can not, this is nothing but the displacement. Now, uh, displacement can be easily e determined by using the formula. You have to remember this formula. L is equal to 2R sin theta by 2. Or else you can use this formula also. Triangle method, hypotenuse square, side square, side square. You can use. But theta is given here. Some different values like 30, 60, 90 like that. So, for that point of view, variable point of view, you can determine theta is nothing in place if the theta is given. Then you can use the formula displacement L is equal to 2R sin theta by 2. Now, so let us see oh, some examples here. So, before that, you have to remember this important point. Displacement always less than or equal to distance. Say, for example, if a particle moving in the straight line, then we can say that distance and displacement are equal. Okay. If it is moving in a different manner, that is, the distance is more, maybe displacement is very less. That is shortcut that here if you observe this and this this is very less comparing with this one see see the example for this <clears throat> let us particle a particle is moving from p to q with an angle of 60 degrees if uh, radius is r and uh, this curve is l then what you have to find is what is the distance and what is the displacement in this case first you can find the distance so distance as you know the distance formula l is equal to r at theta so, r theta, r is there, r theta means, so how can you find the theta? 60, 60 in terms of pi, you can use, uh, 60 means here, you can use uh, theta value is pi by 3. So, pi means 180, 180 by 3 means uh, 60, that's all. So, you can write simply here, r theta, that is uh, pi r by 3. Simply you can write, pi r by 3 is the distance, okay. So, what is the displacement here? So, what is displacement? Displacement, as you know, you can apply this formula. So, L is equal to 2R sin theta by 2. So, that is 2R sin theta by 2 means 60 by 2. That is sin 30. Sin 30 is nothing but 1 by 2. So, into 1 by 2. 2, 2 gets cancelled. You can say L is equal to R. So, the displacement here is nothing but the R is the displacement. Okay. Next, for example, number 2. Say if, if the particle is moving from here, P to Q with an angle of 90 degrees, R is the radius, L is the curved path distance. So, you can get the formula for the same thing here, distance. Distance, L is equal to R theta. So, as you know, the theta here in this case, theta is nothing but pi by 2 or simply i pi by 2. So, this is the distance here. 
So what is the displacement in this case? So displacement L is equal to 2 R sin theta by 2. That is sin theta by 2 means theta means how much? Pi by 2. So pi by 2 that is so pi by 2 is 90. 90 by 2 means sin 45 simply. So you can write L is equal to 2 into sin 45 means 1 by root 2. Or simply if it is root 2 into root 2, root 2 root 2 cancel, that is simply you can say that to root 2 R. Okay. Or else you can use the other method also, the displacement method. Or here in this case, this is the displacement. Here in this case, this is the displacement. You can use the formula. 90 degrees is there, na? right angle triangle, that means hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square. That is this square is equal to root of r square plus r square. That is 2r square, you can get simply root 2r. In that way also you can use. So you better to use, if theta is in different angle, then you have to use this formula. So this is about the circumference circle. Say next, here yeah, the topic number 2 is, if an object covers n equal distances with e with velocities v1, v2, v dash 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 vn, then average speed will be dash. That you have to find here. Say for example, if a particle is moving from here, it traveling equal distances, that is d, 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 with velocities, different velocities, v1, v2, v3, v4 dash dash up to vn. So here, the how many parts will be there? n equal distances will be there. So what you have to find is, if it is a straight line that is a linear motion like uh, we can say that uh, speed and velocity both are equal so here we go for the average speed so what is the formula for the average speed total distance by total time so total distance how much distance will be there d plus d plus d plus how many d's are there n d's are there so total distance will be you can say n d but total time is nothing but t1 seconds t2 seconds t3 seconds and so on tn seconds so but you know that in, in place of time, time is nothing but the distance by, so time is nothing but here the distance by velocity or speed, you can say, see why because both are linear. So in place of t1, you can write d by v1, d by v2, dash, dash, dash. So take out the d as the common, d, d will be cancelled, you will get n by 1 by v1 plus 1 by v2 plus so on. Say for example, if we are considering only two parts here, here to here, here to here, that is the first one will be the v1, second one will be the v2. So then you can use, uh, if uh, n is equal to 2, you can use the formula, you will get the formula for the two parts problem, you will get 2 v1 v2 v1 plus v2, or simply from this, if you substitute it here, what you will get, uh, v average is equal to, what you will get here, v average is equal to, uh, 2 means in place of n, you can put the 2, 2 by 1 by v1 plus 1 by v2, now solving this, you will get, 2 v1 v2 by v1 plus v2. This is the average speed. Okay. So here you have to remember that average speed and average velocity is same when the object moves in the straight line. Okay. So we will do some problem related to this. Say for example, if a car travels in a straight line, moves with constant velocity, 30 km per hour for 10 kilometers, and with constant velocity, 40 kmph for next 10 kilometers distance find the average velocity say for example if the car is like this it will move 30 kmph first initial velocity first velocity will be 30 kmph and how much distance will be there 10 kilometer distance next to 10 kilometers that is equal distance with a velocity of 40 kmph so what do you have to find average vel average velocity so here, this is the straight motion, straight line. That's why you can say average speed and average velocity are equal. So what is the formula for this? V average is equal to, you know that 2 V1 V2 by V1 plus V2. Substituting what you will get, 2 into V1 means 30 into 40 by, so how much it will be? 30 into 40 by 30 plus 40, that is 70. So, 0, 0, cancel. Two three six six four zero twenty four two forty 6, 6, 4, 24. 240 by 7. That is approximately. Three twenty one. No? 21 means how much it will be there? 30. And then we end 20. Um, so 32 34.2 k 
kilometer per hour. So in this way you can determine the average velocity. Okay. Next to instantaneous velocity. The what is how will you define instantaneous velocity? The velocity of the particle at a particular instant of time is nothing but the instantaneous velocity. So if you plot a graph between displacement and time, if it is a curve like this, then if you can determine the slope from this graph, this is a distance ds and the time in time dt seconds, which is mean eigen angle say theta angle. So as you know that the <coughs> displacement time curve slope of the curve gives the velocity. So as you know that velocity v is equal to d by ds by dt which is nothing but in terms of you can use the tan theta. So if it is a triangle opposite side adjacent side you will get the tan theta. Slope is nothing but tan theta. So related to the we will do some problems. So one problem one is, uh, which is previously neat problem. So let us say two cars P and Q starts from the point at the same time in a straight line with the positions x p t x p t and uh, x q t is uh, given a t plus b t square f t minus t square at what time do the cars have same velocity that means two cars here starts from the same point and the same time let us say two cars so yeah one is p another is q so what you have to find is at what time does the two cars have same velocity so you have to you have to equate the velocities velocity of the p and velocity of the q as you know the formula for the velocity is nothing but the ds by dt so that is uh, dxp by dt which is nothing but the dxq by dt so differentiation these two differentiating these two so we can get here d by dt of at plus bt square is equal to d by dt of ft minus t square so what you will get the differentiation means d by d differentiation t will be one that is a plus 2 bt which is equal to f minus 2t what you have to find you have to find the time here so how can you determine the find time mm, take out this uh, this this side that, that side so 2bt plus 2t is equal to f minus a so from this t common 2b plus 2 into 2 is equal to f minus a or simply you can say t is equal to f minus a by 2 into b plus 2 this is the time for this okay next topic will be acceleration so as you know the definition of acceleration is the rate of change of velocity so average acceleration a is equal to change in velocity by change in time these are the best thing so you can write the graph as usual from the previous one velocity time graph that is uh, time is on the x-axis velocity on the y-axis you will get dv by dt so velocity by time is nothing but the, will get the acceleration which is instantaneous acceleration a is equal to dv by dt which is nothing but the tan theta from this slope of the curve so here you have to remember that uh, if in the question they will give the retardation retardation means nothing but the negative acceleration that means the body is moving in the opposite direction to the velocity so that is nothing but the retardation now from this we can see a small problem which is asked in the previous need the x y coordinates of the particle at any time are x is equal to 5 t minus 2 t square and uh, y is equal to 10 t respectively where x and y are in meters t in seconds find the acceleration of the particle at t is equal to 2 seconds here you have to find the acceleration of the particle so they give in two directions okay now x is there why is there that is to, uh, if the, the here if you observe this the particle is moving in the two dimensional plane so what happened let us see x is equal to you know that 5t minus 2t square now y is equal to 10t now if you differentiate you will get the velocity so velocity you will get dx by dt 
that is differentiating with uh, respect to the time you will get 5 minus t square means 2t 2 to the 4 that is 4t so what about the velocity here velocity this is in the x direction this is in the y direction simply 10 now what you have to find acceleration so acceleration a as you know that dv by dt that is x here acceleration means dv y by dt so find the acceleration for this differentiating constant will be the 0 it is minus t will be the 1 so you will get minus 4 that is in the x direction this is in the y direction differentiation of constant is not equal to the 0 that means if you observe this on the y direction the acceleration is 0 whereas in the x direction the acceleration is minus 4 that is retardation you can use that means it will having only acceleration in one direction that means we can say acceleration a is equal to of the particle after two uh, at t is equal to two seconds so two seconds is not necessary why because there is no time here in terms of time if we if we get in terms of time you can substitute the value here there is no need of uh, substituting the time so you will get acceleration will be minus four meter per second square is the answer or you can say retardation is 4 meter per second square okay now vt graphs from the graphs what you observe so this is also one of the important topic that is plotting a graph between vt there is a velocity and a time graph from this graph as you know that previously velocity is equal to ds by dt this is a reverse method of the uh, add, add differentiation so you will get ds is equal to vdt now ds is nothing but the displacement vdt velocity time so to get the total displacement then you can get the into by doing the integration this integration of ds from s1 to s2 so starting displaced point is s1 point distance and the final will be s2 which is equal to integration of time will be t1 to t2 vdt so this from this graph vt graph let us say this one this area under this curve which gives the displacement of the particle this is for the vt graph similarly for the at graph at graph the acceleration and time graph if the graph will be like this as you know the formula a is equal to dv by dt from this you will get dv is equal to a dt integrating it you will get change in velocity so you can say simply that integration of t1 t2 dv is equal to integration of t1 t2 to uh, a dt a dt so this uh, to, this value is nothing but change in velocity now if you observe the area under this graph gives the change in velocity whereas area under this graph gives the displacement area under this graph at graph gives the change in velocity that you have to remember so we can do problem related to this so if the velocity of the particle is v is equal to at plus bt square a b are the constants then the distance traveled by it in uh, between 1 to 2 seconds that means velocity is given here as you know the formula variation will be there that is from t1 to t2 seconds so v is equal to ds by dt ds is equal to v dt s is equal to integration of v dt t1 to t2 so simply you can substitute in value you will get the answer cv here how can you substitute this so displacement is equal to integration of t1 to t2 that is a 1 to 2 v dt velocity is given here at plus bt square into dt so integrating it so what you will get s is equal to integration means so the formula you can remember this formula integration of x power and dx is equal to from uh, uh, a to b the formula will be x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 from limits a to b so you can get 1 by n plus 1 into in place of x you can write b n plus 1 minus a n plus 1 so this is the formula you have to remember so look at this one a t plus individually you can apply or directly you can do here a t square so a t means so a is the constant here t means t power 1 means so t power 1 plus 1 by t 1 plus 1 that is so t square by 2 so a t square by 2 plus b t square so b is the constant here t cube t cube means t power 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 that is t cube by 3 so from limits 1 to 2 so first substitute the limit 2 and then minus 1 so substituting 2 what you will get here a into 2 square that is 4a by 2 
प्लस टू क्यूब मीन्स एट बी बाई थ्री ओके माइनस लोअर लिमिट लोअर लिमिट मीन्स सिंपली ए बाई टू माइनस बी बाई थ्री नाउ सब्सटिट्यूटिंग दिस वॉट यू विल गेट फोर ए माइनस ए दट इज थ्री ए बाई टू सो प्लस एट बी माइनस बी दट इज सेवन बी बाई थ्री सो दिस इज द आंसर डिसप्लेसमेंट इज नथिंग बट थ्री ए बाई टू प्लस सेवन बी बाई थ्री इज द आंसर सो सिमिलरली नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन दट इज प्रॉब्लम ए पार्टिकल हैज द इनिशियल वेलासिटी थ्री आई प्लस फोर जे एंड हैज एक्सेलरेशन पॉइंट फोर आई पॉइंट थ्री जे इट्स स्पीड आफ्टर टेन सेकेंड दैट मीन्स यू हैव टू फाइंड द स्पीड स्पीड यू हैव टू फाइंड सो एज वी नो दैट द फार्मूला हियर गिवेन वट इज गिवेन वैल्यूज लेटस से इनिशियल वेलासिटी यू इज इक्वल टू थ्री आई प्लस फोर जे एक्सेलरेशन ए इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट फोर आई प्लस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री जे सो टाइम टी इज इक्वल टू टेन सेकेंड्स या दट मीन्स यू हैव टू फाइंड द वी आफ्टर टेन सेकेंड्स दैट इज वी इज इक्वल टू यू नो द फार्मूला यू प्लस एटी सो सब्सिट्यूटिंग यू गेट सिंपली वी इज इक्वल टू यू मीन्स थ्री आई प्लस फोर जे प्लस ए मीन्स जीरो पॉइंट फोर आई प्लस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री जे इंटू टेन सेकेंड्स और यू गेट थ्री आई प्लस फोर जे प्लस फोर आई प्लस थ्री जे सो सिंपली यू गेट थ्री प्लस फोर सेवन आई प्लस सेवन जे सो दिस इज द वेलास्टी वॉट यू हैव टू फाइंड स्पीड दट मीन्स स्पीड इज नथिंग बट magnitude of velocity so as you know the magnitude how can you determine root over 7 square plus 7 square that is 7 root 2 meter per second so another model question a body is moving with uniform acceleration so uniform acceleration topic is the important one so if a body is moving in the uniform acceleration from p to q along the straight line has the velocities 6 meter per second 8 meter per second at uh, p 6 meter per second at q 8 meter per second so r is the midpoint between them find the velocity at this midpoint at this midpoint you have to find the velocity so in this question uniform acceleration word is given then you have to use this formula v is equal to under root of v1 square plus v2 square as you know directly you can substitute v is equal to under root of 6 square plus 8 square by 2 what you will get 6 square means 36 plus 64 100 by 2 that is root 50 that is 25 into 2 5 root 2 meter per second that's it so remember that special case you can use if you want to find the at a midpoint they given simply you substitute the values v is equal to under root of v1 square plus v2 square by 2 similarly another problem see a body moving with velocity 10 meter per second is stopped by the application of brakes after covering a distance 20 meters If the same body moves with velocity forty meter per second and same braking force applied on it, distance covered by it is dash. So simple one. Let us say here is a body. Body means let us say a car, a vehicle, whatever it may be is there. This is moving with velocity ten meter per second. So in this straight line, if you apply the brakes here, it will slowly move from here to here. At twenty meters, it will be stopped. Velocity will be zero. Same body. Starting velocity is forty uh, meter per second. Then same brakes are applied. How much distance it will travel? That means we can use the formula here. Here, let us say how many times this body traveling with the velocities. Initially, ten meter per second. This is forty meter. That means four times more velocity. So if it is u, this is n u. so the formula the distance traveled if it is s1 this we can say n square u is the formula n square u is the answer so 
that means how many times here distance traveled second time is equal to you can say n square u dash that is n square means how many times here if this is 10 this is further than 4 times that you can say 4 square into u dash that is distance of velocity how much here 40 meter per second so simply you can say 4 4 yeah, 16 into 40 that is 640 meters this is answer for remember this n square u this is important for me next question a body is moving in a straight line with a constant acceleration this is important constant acceleration it changes its velocity from 10 meter per second to 20 meter per second while passing through a distance 120 meters in t seconds so find the time here if you observe if the body is moving the constant acceleration means the distance traveled by it is nothing but the average velocity into time so as you know the average velocity is nothing but the v1 plus v2 by 2 time is time as usual so substituting you will get s is equal to v1 plus v2 by 2 that is 10 plus 20 by 2 into time how much here you have to find distance is given is 120 yeah so 120 is equal to 30 by 2 into t so 0 0 cancel 3 4 z 12 that is t is equal to 8 seconds so distance covered in the nth second the formula if the particle is traveling in the nth second first second to second second third second like that if the question is given uh, you have to remember these two formulas first is distance covered in the nth second is nothing but s nth is equal to s n minus s n minus one second so for example let us say here the particle is uh, starting from this here to here this is uh, s1 this is uh, s2 this is uh, s3 this is uh, s4 like this so if the question asked uh, what is the distance traveled by the body in the third second third second that means this is first second this is second second this is third second so this third second distance traveled is equal to dash that is a question that means s3 is equal to total distance traveled so third second distance traveled minus second second distance second how, how much traveled with the second second in this way you will get the answer third second they are asking only third second what is the distance here that means total distance minus this distance you will get the distance so you will get s3 is equal to s3 minus s2 like this or you can say if the acceleration is constant means you can use the general formula sn is equal to u plus a into n minus half now let us see the question related to this one the distance traveled by the particle starting from rest initial velocity zero and moving with an acceleration 4 by 3 in the third second is dash you have to find the third second distance so you can use the formula s3 directly you can use this formula no need of that one so s3 is equal to sn is equal to u plus a into n minus half so s3 is equal to u means initial velocity is rest 0 plus a means acceleration that is 4 by 3 into n that is third second so 3 minus 1 by 2 so what you will get 4 by 3 into uh, 5 by 2 so 2 2 is 4 2 5 is 10 so 10 by 3 yeah meters there is the answer next one of the important 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 say say for example a car accelerates at 6 meter per second square from rest that is origin and returns that is the negative acceleration at 3 meter per second square and come to rest total finally come to rest the total time taken for the journey is 20 seconds find v max maximum velocity average velocity distance in uh, some uh, 10 seconds uh, 20 seconds whatever in 20 seconds uh, yes in 20 seconds now v max so here let us say for this explanation you have to know this one 
say for example if you plot a graph between time and velocity here here is the particle starting from accelerating accelerating that means velocity will be increasing so here the acceleration will be alpha let us say it reaches the maximum value and then retardation takes place so retardation will be indicated by the beta alpha is the accelerating particle beta is the retarding particle so acceleration will occurred in the t1 seconds beta will be in the t2 seconds so total time taken will be in t so if this condition is given here then you have to remember these formulas so the formula number one is v max if you want to find the v max alpha t1 is equal to beta t2 this is the first condition acceleration is equal to alpha beta by alpha plus beta effective acceleration of the total v maximum is equal to maximum velocity is equal to effective acceleration into total time time again some more so v average velocity is equal to v max by 2 another one is distance traveled by this will be half a effective into t square that is a formula say let us see from this diagram what do you know this is alpha this is beta this is the time here first of all you have to find the v max so you can use this formula so you can use v max before going to discuss a v max you have to find the a effective so you can find a effective initially so a effective is equal to the formula is alpha beta by alpha plus beta so 6 into 3 by 6 plus 3 that is 6 3 is 18 by 9 that is equal to 2 meter per second square this is the effective acceleration total time will be given here is 20 seconds so first question v max is equal to a effective into time so 2 into 20 that is equal to 40 meter per second is the v max next v average number 2 v average as you know the formula is v max by 2 that is 40 by 2 that is 20 meter per second that's all next third one will be c will be distance traveled so total distance traveled is equal to half a effective into t square that means half into you can use <coughs> a effective value how much 2 into t square that is 20 into 20 2 2 gets cancelled that is 400 meters that's all so these are the things you can determine the formula so remember this one okay thank you for watching all the best